Hi, this is Curtis Rogers with the South Carolina Library Association. I'm the immediate past president as well as chair of the Legislation Committee for 2009. I'm going to take a few min minutes to give you an overview of how to use a new feature that South Carolina Library Association is offering to its members and to folks out there in library land who are interested in advocacy for libraries, and it's called CapWiz. If you're looking at the scla.org website, the way to access CapWiz easily is to click on the legislation link. And then you'll notice here at the towards the top of the screen is the CapWiz Legislative Action Center link. Once you click on this, we'll take you to a page that says Legislative Action Center. And you have some items up here as home, elected officials, issues, election, as well as media. And periodically a new alert will be featured. In this case it's a uh, call and email now to protect library funding. And each of these featured alerts has a read more button so you can read more about them. If you're interested in contacting uh, one of your senators um, or governor or president you can certainly click on one of their names. I'll go ahead and select Lindsey Graham and show you how to do the basics of a contact form. You can see here uh, at the top of uh, Senator Graham's information are some tabs and one tab here is contact and if you click on contact you'll see that you're provided with a web form so that you can just fill out and send an email to uh, Senator Graham's office. In this case, you have a number of different messages that will pop up, and you can compose your own letter. You'll see down here at the bottom. But I'll just go up to the top where it's asking for me for immediate action needed and select that item. You can only select one of these items at a time. And I'll click on Next Step, Next Step and this allows me to compose a message. And I'm given the option here to either send a printed letter or send an email. And it's really not a good idea to send a printed letter because everything that goes into Washington, D.C. is irradiated and sometimes it comes out brown and crinkly and difficult to read. So it's best just to stick with the email option. Here you can change your subject line if you would like to. And in this case, I'll just go ahead and select, select budget. You have to select an issue area from the list. Then you're going to type in your message and it's a good idea to try to type a personal message in here and you have to think about what it is you're composing and, and be really thoughtful uh, as to what kind of message you send. Then you have uh, your closing and once you fill out the sender information it will save this information so when you come back again it will be automatically filled. One thing you will notice here under email, I'm using my personal email address and that's my email address at home and you really want to use your personal email address. You really should not be using your work email address, especially if you uh, work for state or local government. Um, it will fill out the rest of the information. I did put company since I work at the State Library and also work with the South Carolina Center for the Book. That kind of lets them know, you know that I'm in touch with what's going on. And <clears throat> here's where you select Remember Me so that when you go back to this page you'll, your information will uh, be there. And also you can ask to be uh, included on ALA Washington office mailing list. So. Um, that's kind of helpful to keep in touch with what's going on. And by the way, this is a service of the American Library Association. Since SCLA is a chapter of the American Library Association, uh, this has been offered to us as a, as a service. Um, there is something called See Me, and this is a really neat feature, and this allows you to include a little bit more personal information. Um, you can upload an image of yourself and you can also tell uh, the, the senators or legislators a little bit more about yourself right here and uh, then you can preview your message before you send it or you can just go ahead and send your message. I'm going to scroll back up to the top and anytime you want to go back to the start page you just click on home. This is geared, uh, it, it is 
um, specifically designed for South Carolina. So you will notice some South Carolina uh, specific information. And over here on the policy tools, if you click on the state legislative directory, you will get information that's specific to South Carolina. So here you have uh, Senate and House of Representatives. You can fill out uh, the zip code if I'm going to, I'll put in my home zip code, um, 29061. And then I have to put in my street address. so that I can get my specific uh, specific legislators for my area. So you see here is governor, senator, uh, as well as representative. So I have each one of these that if I wanted to contact, I certainly could. For instance, if I were going to try to contact my representative, I click on Joe Neal's name, and then I'm provided with that same tabular data. So this is contact and contact rep Joe Neal and so this just is not as sophisticated as the uh, the other but in this case I can just click on uh, representative Neal's email address and send an email that way. Um, if I go back home I can also click on the issues button and this pulls up current action alerts and there's also a media button and this is a nice feature if I wanted to send a message to any of these newspapers in South Carolina that are listed there are a few magazines as well as television stations and radio for instance if I wanted to send something to uh, WIS, WLTX, WOLO I could click on those click compose a message they're selected right here I can do my subject email and again it saves the same information and it includes my see me information so that if I wanted to send any of these media outlets a message I could do it through CapWiz. Um, CapWiz has a lot of resources and uh, certainly hope that you take some time to look at it and contact your legislators and senators and uh, if you have any questions, you can certainly uh, email me. If you click on the um, on the legislative on the, the legislation page, you'll notice there is a lot of information here about the legislative committee. And if you click on this down at the bottom, it does give uh, contact information for the legislative committee. And so I'm listed here if you need to contact me about CapWiz. Um, we will be offering some training sessions in the future uh, and again if you have any questions feel free to contact either me or Tom Gilson our ALA counselor um, and I hope you use CapWiz. Thank you.